Jack was a very distinguished guy, uh, unlikely man. He had Duke Ellington's eyes, big saddlebags under his eyes, um, always had the nub of a cigar in his mouth, which he would spit, uh, uh, hello lad, how are you? And a lot of dandruff that actually looked like they were epaulets on his jacket. And, but he waited, right, and Buddy had been there every night and did, did his due diligence, and I was getting better. And so Jack comes, and I know he's going to be there, and I killed. I did a really solid 20 minutes right to the button, that's, and that's all I had. So we go out afterwards, this, um, this little place called the Green Kitchen. Um, and we sit down across from each other, and I'm nervous like crazy because he's the guy who put Nichols and May together. He's the one who, who um, turned Harry Belafonte into a huge star by saying, um, wear an open-throated shirt and uh, here's a Calypso song I want you to sing. Right. And because he was a folk singer. And, 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 and turned Woody from a great comedian, from a writer to a comedian to a director. It was Jack and Charlie. But Jack was the, the tasty one of, of the team, I thought. Um, and we're sitting across from each other, my heart's beating through my shirt. And I'm thinking he's gonna, after seeing that show, he's gonna say, you know what? I'm not gonna handle Woody anymore. It's just you. That was the, and he says, so how do you think you did uh, tonight? How'd you feel? I said, I felt great. The audience, you know, was great. And I thought my timing was good. It was a strong show. Pause, pause, pause. <sighs> okay. I didn't care for it. Now I, I could feel my hand reach for the knife at the table. For him or for you? Yeah, no, for him. Yeah, no, it was going to be Norman Bates. It was just, the, I could hear the music. And I said, um, why? Trying to act cool. Um, effective? Yes, of course. And th that may serve you well. But I didn't hear the word I once in the 20 minutes. I didn't hear you once say, you know what bothers me? I think this, do you know what I think they should, you never once, it was all like bits. So I don't know you. You didn't leave a tip. And I go, well, what do you mean? A tip, the little extra something you leave on a table to, to, to tell a waitress you did a good job. They remember you because you left a, a tip. You didn't leave a tip. You didn't, I know nothing about you. So I want you to go home. And, uh, and tomorrow when you come in, don't do anything you did tonight. You know that works. That's fine. But talk about your life. You're married. Yes, yes. You're a father. Yes, yes. Talk about that. And bomb. Be prepared to bomb. Don't work so safe. You understand? Leave a tip.